All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Y for the Nintendo 3DS. Today, we're gonna go ahead and make our way up to the next city and hopefully get a lot of things accomplished. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing today, but we are going to go ahead and just follow the path because it seems to be working out pretty well for us. So here we are in Route 3. What are y'all going to do? Why, look for some Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask to complete the Pokedex, after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it and put it in another way, it's a chance uh, to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll be using di I'll bet different Pokemon will be using different moves. I sure want to see lots of moves. What are you gonna do, Serena? I'm gonna go to Santaloon City Gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how they're good they are by challenging other gym leaders in Pokemon gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot. That's the basic shiz, man. Why does why does she get all the attention and credit for knowing what everyone should know before playing Pokemon games? It's because mom and dad taught me so much. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. All right, let's read these adventure tips. I'm actually really intrigued to see what kind of uh, generic tips she's given us. Because I swear, if they're like... Walk in grass to catch wild Pokemon, or to run in wild Pokemon, I will I will be pretty upset. Because these guys are extremely noobish at Pokemon. I'm not saying I'm great at it, I'm pretty noobish too, but... I mean, God, come on, these guys, they're they're just... They're not good at all. Alright, let's look at the adventure rules. Let's, let's, t let's read some of this. Alright. Adventure rule number one, open the menu with the X button. Record your progress with save. Number three, throw Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. No, what are we gonna throw? A chicken nugget? No, we throw chicken nuggets guys to catch Pokemon because they're attracted to chicken and you catch it once it's eating the nugget, I guess. We can Pokemon to catch. Use battles to help your Pokemon grow. Heal your Pokemon at Pokemon Centers. Oh, I thought we healed them at the Pokemon. Buy more items than you need, than you think you need. That's actually a really good uh, tip. Probably the only one I, useful that I've read. Talk to everyone you meet for information, and when you get lost, check your town map. Last one, enjoy your journey with your Pokemon. That's the most important thing of every Pokemon game. Enjoy your journey, guys. So here we are, Route 3. I love how they put the sign here, too. Like, they're informing you that this is Route 3, guys, and you're on Route 3. This game is so amazing. All right, let's go ahead and switch out. I'm going to put Pidgey up front just because I want to train him a little bit. Um, I think it's time to show him some loving. I'm probably going to do the old switcheroo technique thing where I send out the Pidgey and then I switch out into um, uh, my flip-flop. So then Pidgey can get some experience as well as flip-flop. We are challenged by preschooler Oliver. Oh, come on. This is a disgrace. You can't put me up against a preschooler. This, this is embarrassing. All right, Speedy. You're gonna go. What's his Caterpie level? I think it's like level two. All right, this, this should be really easy. Uh, Speedy can take him out with ease and gain another level, so this is nice. Unless it poisons me, which I don't think it will. So I think we're on the safe side, guys. I don't think I'll get poisoned, because if we do, we're gonna have to ditch all of the trainers here just to go to the Pokemart. I mean, we could let Pidgey die. This isn't a Nuzlocke challenge, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm just like so used to playing Pokemon games um, and, and doing a Nuzlocke challenge on them because I've been doing it recently a lot. It's been fun, but I think uh, it's, it's always better to play the Pokemon game the way it is with the rules that they have rather than making up tough rules for yourself. And we finally learned Sand Attack. That's good. Another move in our collection. Uh, which we probably will never use. Sorry, Azuril. You're a cute little munchkin, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Look at its- the, the end of its tail is like- it's like a yoga ball, and it's the size of its body. How does it even manage to, like, hold that? I don't know, but it's cool. It's a cool, cute looking Pokemon. I was like- I don't know what I was gonna say, but... I- I mashed cute and cool together. Oh, that's cute! Look at that! Look at his backpack! That's a Charizard! I like that. <laughs> Preschooler all over, you're a little dumpling. And h notice how, like, the trainers actually look different. They're not all the same looking, which is cool. Something that I also really, really like about this game. Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let Pichu do what it wants. Let me guess, you're one of those girls with Pikachus, and it doesn't have a Pichu, does it? It has a Pichu, it does. Wow. What's up with these guys and having baby Pokemon? I guess all of these preschoolers here have the baby Pokemon like them. Alright, this should be easy to take out. We're gonna go ahead and use uh, Tackle, but it's gonna use Tail Whip first. It's gonna lower my defense. 
I don't think it has any moves to actually attack me. Um, if it does, then good for it. I mean, I, I never understood that with trainers. Why would you go in a battle if you don't actually have a move to attack a Pokemon? Like, your only moves are, like, moves that will lower the stats for Pokemon. I think it's just really stupid. Um, Nintendo should try to make the games a little bit harder. I think that's why people make up challenges for themselves, just because of how easy Pokemon games tend to be sometimes. It's all good, though. Um... All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Surprisingly, it's actually night outside, and it's not night here for some reason. Or if this is night, I can't really tell because I'm probably blind, but whoa, coming through. She is on her skateboard. The, I, unless, I, unless I set up the time wrong, I don't think I did, but I thought there would be night and daytime in this game, but it looks like there isn't. Maybe there is. I'm probably not... I don't know. Does this look like it's daytime to you guys? It looks like it's day to me. Hey, my po hey, my Pokemon are and I are studying. Want to join us? Nah, it's 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 okay, little girl, little Indian girl. No, she's not an Indian girl. She's a kind uh, girl named Bridget, sending out her Bidoof. A fourth generation Pokemon. I was about to say third, but no, it's a fourth gen, and they're silly. I I hate Bidoof so much. I I really do. I hate them with all of my heart. And we're just gonna attack it. <clears throat> Hopefully Pidgey will be able to take him out. Oh! You're a feisty one, aren't you? You just want a battle. Ah. Alright. I'm probably gonna try to catch another Pokemon too in this route, in this area. Just because, you know, I would like to establish a team. Come on. Don't kill me. C can we do this? Can we kill it without dying? Do it! Yes! It died! The opponent's Bidoof fainted. That's great. So yeah, uh, what are you guys most excited about for Pokemon X and Y? I'm really excited to start the, uh, or to play with the Mega Pokemon. I mean, those are, they seem really interesting. I've seen all of the trailers for the Mega Pokemon, and I'm really excited to have Mega Charizard. God, that's gonna be an adventure on its own. A super potion. Wow, they, they give you a super potion right off the bat. That's kind of crazy. It's funny, because we don't even need super potion. And I honestly thought, like, we'd be grinding our levels, but that's not the case. We're not grinding at all. Like, I'm literally just fighting the trainers and gaining a ton off of them. So that's that's something really... Oh, tits. Oh, good. No, I want to tell you. What am I saying? <laughs> My bad. Little confused there. Alright, let's see who we run into. If it's someone good, I'll catch it. If not, then we're just gonna kill it. Ah, oh, no, not a bunny a, a bundle by. You silly goof. I, I don't want you on my team. You just eat carrots and, and hide in holes like Bugs Bunny. And get chased down and hunted by rednecks. Wow, critical hit and it actually killed him. That's that's really nice. My Pokemon are coming along real nicely here. And this guy right here, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take him out in yeah, our, our Pidgey could take him out. Pidgey can do this, you got this, I believe in you. Believe in yourself and any, and you can accomplish anything. A Pan Sage, ooh. I fought your brother the other day. Not really, I, I, I fought him earlier today and it was great. I find him in the forest, which is weird because you're supposed to be in the forest, not him. It's level three, what's up with these trainers being level three? Is it because this is Route 3 or Route 3? All of the trainers here have Pokemon that are level 3. I I don't know if that's the case, but if it is, this game's going to be really easy. I, I, I highly doubt they'd actually do that, but I'm just suggesting that Route 3 is an exclusive route with trainers that have Pokemon at level 3. You never know, though. A hey, Pants here. This, this is fun. I, I could have actually sent out my, uh, my flip-flop, but... It's it's okay. Pidgey got this. Ah oh, no! Don't make me f don't. Oh okay. What will Speedy do? I will tackle you. Oh yeah. Smack in the face. I want the roller skates. I know we get them soon. I also want a skateboard, but that's something that you need to download. I'm pretty sure. I think it is. I I don't know because like I said, I haven't been. Um, up to date with the whole X and Y news just because I don't want to, I didn't want to like spoil the game for myself. If you're watching this video right now when you talk about not wanting to spoil the game for yourself, you're absolutely stupid because 
you're watching this video to be spoiled. You're watching it for a reason. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to avoid spoilers, then by all means, do not watch any of my videos. Um, but yeah, for me, I mean, I just didn't want to be spoiled. I wanted to experience the game firsthand. Uh, but I, I, I couldn't help but notice when people were talking about Mega Pokemon, just because I believe one of the Mega Pokemon were trending on Twitter, and, and it was really exciting, and I got really excited, and I and I looked, and and I, I wish I, sh I shouldn't have, but it's it's all good. Who are you? Do you, you want to battle? Hey, little girl, do you want to battle me? Oh, look at how he squats to talk to her. That's embarrassing. I went to the Pokemon Center because I, I was asked to buy Pokeballs. You can buy Pokeballs from the Pokemon Center? Here we are, guys, in Santa Loon Town. Let's enter the Pokemon Center for the first time. Here it is, our first Pokemon Center. I've actually seen this already, but... Yeah, oh hey there, Big S. Are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon Centers are sure great. You could talk to the lady on the counter and have her heal your Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon you've caught in the PC. Know how Pokemon are sent to the PC? When you've got... When you've caught more than you can carry. That's where they go. I was too busy looking at the... The guy reading the books. He looks like a hiker. I actually, I actually want to talk to him. Where are you going? You're just going to stand there? Alright, let me heal the Pokemon. Let's ex explore this. See what they've changed here and what they haven't. I mean, it, all, it looks different. Completely different. Like, it almost... It looks a lot more like a hospital, which is what I don't like. I liked the old-fashioned red Pokemon Center, and there seems to be only one floor. Unless this is a floor, which it doesn't look like it is, and you can't go there. You have to go through here. Here's where you. I'm pretty sure you. Oh, this is the Mart. I'm pretty. Hey, can we can we talk? Oh, it's the Pokemon. They put the Pokemon in the Pokemon Center. That. I, I don't know what to think about that. W what about you? What do you sell? Oh, okay. He sells the good stuff that we will never buy. Okay. I mean, maybe we could, cause with the whole new. Um, ST training thing. What about you? Pokemon are easier to catch if you make them sleep or paralyze. Or if you sleep or paralyze them first. Alright. Nothing really interesting here in the Pokemon Center. So let's go ahead and leave. Um. This guy. Hey, you. Walking through tall grass is fun. All kinds of Pokemon jump out on you. Yeah, we know that. Oh yeah, look. You can sit on the bench like Animal Crossing. Like, this game has a lot of, uh features or things from like other Nintendo games like it reminds me of other 3DS games is that a rose raid I can't tell it looks like a rose raid but I mean because the flower the roses in his hand and the face but I'm pretty sure rose raid doesn't have three spikes on its head so I could be wrong what about you if you master type smash up then you even your opponents will be you to be okay what about you do you have anything to say Oh, you. You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids who got the Pokemon from Augustine Sakemore. Augustine Sakemore. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. I, I don't know, right? That Pidgey you've got looks pretty happy. You must be a good trainer. In that case, get over to the gym and I'm sure my sister will be glad to meet you. Ooh. There's a gym here. That's great. So that's something we're definitely going to hit up. But before we do that, I'm going to do one last thing in this video, and that is talk to this girl right here. Hey, stranger, isn't it cruising around on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me that you don't own a pair of roller skates? Then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest, not me. So how about it? Do you want a battle? And then you say yes, you kick her ass, and she gives you a pair of roller skates, which are extremely fun to ride around on because of the whole diagonal way. Like, you can go different directions and diagonals. Um, with your roller skates, so it just makes the game really fun to travel with, and and it's awesome. If there's a bike in this game, I would not use it. I, I would still stick to the roller skates, so. We can use Gus now, but I'm just going to stick to tackle using, or uh, attacking this Zigzagoon, because it's... I mean, it's a Zigzagoon. It's probably going to do Tail Whip and Growl. Um, because that's all they seem to be good for, apparently. Aw, oh, yeah. Smack in the face. How would you like that if like an eagle smacked you in the face? Oh, it finally attacked. Holy, how am I level 9? Weren't I like level 4 when we started? Damn, training is like really easy. Maybe I should catch other Pokemon. I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna catch a Pokemon for sure. More Pokemon. Oh, and that was it? She only had one Zigzagoon? Okay, that, that was 
That was really easy. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Wow, that's amazing. You might even be stronger than the gym leader. All right, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. I obtained the roller skates. The roller skates. Not a pair of roller skates, the roller skates. Listen up. I'll read you the instructions for the new pair of roller skates, okay? Our roller skates snap right onto your shoe and you can glide anywhere around. All you need to do is move the circle pad to get those wheels going. That's all you need to do. All right. Let's go ahead and put them on. Register them and select. All right. So you'll see how fun these are. Oh, first of all, let me actually do something in settings. You can uh, switch the tech speed to fast, battle effects on or off. I'm just going to leave everything on default mode and force save uh what is that you can choose whether or not oh okay that doesn't matter we don't need that i thought it actually saves the game forcefully sometimes but no that's not the case which is good because i would not like that because sometimes you like mess around and then you don't want to save and then it forces you to save that would that would really stink all right let's put your by type all right, roller skates has been selected. Look at that. Whee! That is fun. Here we are, <laughs> smacking into everything. What is this place? And it's kind of hard to slow down with them, so you be careful when you want to go places, drinks, and down here. Hey, what? I can't leave? Oh, well, you, 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 yeah, you, you, can't, you can't leave until you battle the gym, so. I guess we have things to do, guys. So that is pretty much it for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and skate some more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.